two of the energy install the solar panel and all the electrical just want to show you what we've been doing with it uh, how it's working for us the three panels are mounted together they're going through that cable that one goes right inside the pop top and we need to have a little bit more like sack there so when you put the pop top up um, it doesn't create any tension that was um, I think this one is Finished. So this is where happy. the cable gets uh, uh, inside. So really delivering plenty of power so yeah, far. So, so I'm really yes. happy about that. Can follow the pass all the way under. You can see here it's going through the body, through the fabric, and basically hides on the back there and goes all along, all the way to the battery. This is where the charge controller and the battery are hiding under that box where we got all the cavalry, everything. If you go underneath, uh, you get the two lithium iron battery. You get the MPPD charge controller, which is great because it charged with solar, but also it charged with the, the battery of the vehicle when you drive and when the, f the battery is charged. It takes over and charges this battery as well. And we get some circuit breaker. We got three of them. One is here, one is here, and one on the bottom. And these guys are basically super easy to turn on and off. And they give me the opportunity to uh, stop the whole system or unplug the solar panel or anything. Um, when I'm uh, leaving the van somewhere for a long time and I don't need to charge or anything. Uh, this is a really easy way to turn the entire system on and off. Um, so, yeah, it's in its box. Where the inverter is, so you see the, the front seat, the driver's seat, and basically that guy is hiding in the back there. Um, so it's a 1000 watt inverter from Renogy, uh, mounted on the back, very silent, and basically give us uh, the opportunity to plug laptops or anything um, through that interface. So yeah, it's been working. Plug in the alternator there. So as you can see the, the plug, everything is plugged in. And what we have here usually we're charging like laptops or like the drone batteries. So everything is charging right now. Uh, speakers, lights, anything. So for the main box here, uh, it's basically hiding under the seat. Uh, so the, the table here, swivel, as you can see. So when we drive around, it's more like this configuration. Um, but under the box here, we got the diesel eater, which is placed around here. So diesel tank, diesel eater as well as the control panel over here. And the control panel, basically it's inside. Um, you can see the fuse box uh, right here. You can see as well, uh, the fuse box is directly plugged to the battery. Um, you can see the diesel eater is charged through the battery directly uh, on the box, like protected box. And I still have to plug a bunch of little accessories, but mainly um, this control panel gives me the ability to turn on and off the um, diesel eater or the fridge or uh, any future light. Um, those are just kind of like USB and 12 volt plug. Got multiple of those going around. Um, so right now we park under a tree in full shade, so obviously there's absolutely almost no energy draws in, uh, power. 
um, the bus is uh, not driving so we don't have any energy on this side from the engine um, this is the temperature temperature of the battery pretty good to know um, and what happens if we for example turn on the heater and I'll show you that um, so let's do that I'm gonna start um, so it's gonna start the pump panel that I have right now right here and I just got from Realogy um, this guy which is a Bluetooth module and I'm gonna try that and see um, if it's easier to get more info technically and how much so I assume the Bluetooth module here is gonna be plugged into the solar charge controller that you can see here now I just need to find where and how. <laughs> where is there it? it is. That's the back of the box. Um, it is possible to access this box here, yet not very practical. So I'm gonna I'm gonna open that um, the little screw right here and plug basically the the Bluetooth module. Um, so that's one of the that's one of the issue with this very tight spacing of elements is uh, the access if you need to plug in and out things it's not impossible but having more space is a lot easier there. So we finally plugged um, the battery together, linked the battery together. As you can see here, um, you put an Ethernet cable basically between. Uh, the front port and the back port of the other battery and then you plug the Bluetooth module um, on this port here there it is and so with that I'm able to actually check on the Bluetooth app um, the consumption of my uh, electronic so for example here uh, I just turn on the fridge, so it's 24 degrees Celsius. It's gonna go all the way to 4 degrees Celsius, and it's roughly consuming 4 amps right now. Um, 45 amps. I'm also charging the um, DJI drone that I have, so all the battery bank and the charger, as well as the laptop. So roughly, this is equivalent to 4 or 5 amps. Right now, um, also charging my phone. As you can see, directly from the battery, which the mistake I did before was to put it directly on the on, on this box where I could read um, the incoming power, but not really the consumption. So I assume that if you put a Bluetooth module, the BT2, directly on the battery bank. You can read a lot more. I think you can plug a Bluetooth 1 and a Bluetooth 2 on the same module and then switch in the app. I'm going to explore that and keep you posted on that. Yeah, be happy. It's working. And I can now witness <laughs> how much energy is going in and how much energy is going out. Well, yeah, the plan for later um, is definitely to add more lights because right now we have uh, we have plenty of like sideway lights, um, just basically like camp light, uh, thing we charge at night. Um, there you go, like these ones, uh, just like to put outside the bus, or like those guys basically to keep uh, a nice a nice glow at night, not something crazy. Well, we keep them charged all the time we're working so far but i want to add a couple like basically a frame around here and put more light for like nighttime um some of the fan 
Uh, some of the fans that we have are like not super, how can I say? Um, they're moving around right now, but we want to have like a proper fan, especially when we drive in summer for the kids. Like once they're here, once they're on the side there, um, get a nice airflow. Um, also when we sleep, I mean, we, we put all of that uh, seat into a bed. And then because we don't really have a window down there um, with the, the Vanagon life, kind of like mole panel, uh, gives us a lot of opportunity to put all of our gears, but Basically, like if you don't open any window on the back and there's not really a sliding window, having an airflow from the front window to anything uh, really helps. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna add a couple more uh, parts to that build. Um, plenty of place on the on the fuse box, so that's not a problem. And um, and yeah, we'll we'll keep you updated with all the good stuff that we add. Um, so far has been helping us with I mean, feeling really safe at night from light to eating system to cooling for food and everything or medication if anybody needs some um, it's been feeling really good because driving charge the battery staying out staying in the sun uh, charge the battery so it's super easy system uh, it's like um, noise wise it's like it's silent reliable um, it's really amazing because you can spend more time with your kid, with your, with everything. Just not losing time worrying about the system. Just come here, need some juice, need to plug it, need anything, everything works. So, yep, super nice. I think that's it. Uh, need probably show you a couple of close-up of the install after that uh, in this video, just to to show you things if I if I miss them, but. Otherwise, yeah, we keep um, we're gonna keep adding to the system. We're gonna keep building up a little update on uh, how many nights can you spend with full on light, full on heat, full on everything. I'm pretty confident. Um, also, having the, the battery in the cold weather, like how they act. Um, but yeah, it, it feels feels really safe, really nice so far. So I'll see you soon. <laughs>